Hi guys and welcome back to DPM TV. In this episode today we're going to be running through an MGA that we've got in for a full repaint. Um, the cars come to us with most of the prep done, but the most exciting bit is we've got new products to use on this one. So yes, the car came to us originally um, with all the, most of the prep work done. These aren't the sort of jobs that we normally take on, but after inspecting the car, we saw the work had been done to a fairly high standard. It's just come to us for the finishing touches. Um, so the first step that we do with all our sort of old style repaints and restorations is to do a gap check. Um, so we go around, check all the panel clearance on the front of the bonnet edge. It was actually catching the front panel. So um, our first stage is to go around, gap all the panels, make sure we've got a consistent gap frame. Um, and then we move on to the filler Pulls gone round uh, and gapped all the panels. So when gapping panels, what we mean by that is either adjusting, so either adding material or taking it away. On this, we haven't had to add any material, so pulls gone round and filed down all the edges, either of the bonnet and the doors, just to open up those gaps a little bit where they're a little bit tight. Um, the next process we're going to do is fillet leveling. Um, but before that, um, the bonnet and the boot lid are still in the original paint. So what we're going to do is paint strip them. This is quite a scary thing to see happen, but also extremely satisfying. Um, and then once that's done, we then go around and carry on filler leveling. Uh, the majority of it is already done. Um, we've just got a few things just to finish up on it. So filler leveling again is we cover most of the car with filler. You then block it down to make it, you know, one smooth surface without any sort of ripples or anything like that. <laughs> Child. Now it's your little leafy 
Stop this get fight Stop this get This isn't the process I normally tend to do it in. I prefer to do epoxy primer over the bare metal um, so that metal is then protected um, and then do the filler levelling process after that. Um, but again, the car came to us with the majority of the prep done so it's not the process we're doing. The underneath as well has been painted by the previous garage. Um, so we're going to be using the, a new range actually today um, which is Noble for classic cars. Um, they have a whole range designed just for classic cars in the process so we're using the polyester spray filler Polyester spray filler I recommend massively for doing um, restorations. It's a thick sprayable filler. Um, it helps level off the, uh, uh, all the filler leveling you've been doing. The other benefit is it doesn't sink back like a high build primer, but you have got to seal it before paint. So either a 2K primer over top or a epoxy primer like we do. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get this mixed up and start getting it done. So we can do this. We've gone round and done three coats over the car. Um, it's now had a bake. We will then go over with a black aerosol to dust over there, which will act as a guide coat. So when we sand it down, you can see all imperfections or your low and high spots. Um, as for the product, so it's the Noble for classic cars. Um, it's our first time using this product, and our first review is it seems extremely good. Um, it lays a lot smoother than a lot of the previous ones I've used beforehand. Uh, we're going to see when we start blocking it down what the build's like on it. Um, it's also got a colour change in the case of when you mix it, so you download the data sheet, it's all done on uh, weight ratios. Um, and then when you mix them together you give it a bit of time and it will change from blue to white um, to indicate that it's ready to spray. Um, another important thing to, uh, when you're doing polyester spray filler is you need at least sort of like a 2.5 mil spray gun. I recommend this size 100 v um, brilliant gun, not too expensive and it lays it on just like a high build primer and also have a second person mixing the uh, polyester spray filler for you, it takes quite a lot to get it mixed and you always want two people doing it because it's a pain in the butt if you're trying to do that and spray it. So uh, let's get it out and we're going to start getting it blocked down.
that's the car now all prepped up, uh, ready for paint. So we're going to get it in the booth and get it masked up. That's it for part one of this episode. Um, so join us for part two where we get masking and painting and we get to use the new Novel uh, Premium Clear Coat. See you then. Sands down